Good evening, everybody. Hi, good evening. Good evening, teacher. Hi, Pedro. How are you? You sound sick. Uh, yes, I am a little sick. Do you have the flu? Uh, yes. Oh, wow. A little hurt. Yeah, but it's a, a little pain in my, on the body. <laughs> oh, wow. But did you take medicine? Uh, yes, in, in, in my home, I, I, I took uh, medicine. Oh, I drank, I drank uh, uh, many liquids. Ah, okay, yeah, that's better. Because you need to drink a lot of water for this. Uh -huh. Okay, but I hope you feel better, okay? But thank you for being in this class. I hope uh, you feel a little bit better uh, by the end of the week, okay? And don't worry, if you don't want to talk during the class, no problem, okay? Because maybe you're going to feel like a sore throat or something, okay? Don't worry. Okay. Hi, Josue, how are you? Hello, teacher, how are you? I'm, I'm fine. fine. Thanks. I'm fine. Did you good have a good evening, day? teacher. Good evening. Did you have a good day today, guys? How was your day? My day was surviving. <laughs> <laughs> your day was surviving. Okay. Yeah. We can notice. <laughs> what about Anna? Yeah. How was your day, Anna? Um, my day, it was okay. Okay, nice. Yes. What about Jose? Everything okay. Okay, nice. Uh, <laughs> yes, my day was uh, uh, okay. It's okay. It was okay. A little bit busy, but it's okay. Okay, perfect, perfect. Excellent. So, yeah, while we're waiting for the others, um, one more time, let me remind you that uh, you need to finish the section number five and also the last exam uh, by Friday, okay? On Friday, it is better if you finish by Friday, but I think they are going to give you some time until Saturday, okay? But if you can continue and do the activities, that's nice, okay? Okay. So uh, yeah, take your time in the in the activities in the last exam, because we have a listening practice, we have a writing practice, also you have a reading practice. Okay, so I mean you have exercises. Okay, the four skills exercises. You don't have speaking. Okay, but you have to complete a conversation. Just it's like similar to a conversation. Okay, it's similar to speaking. So. Uh, make sure that you take your time to do the activities, okay? And today we're going to continue with the topic from yesterday, okay? We're going to continue practicing uh, with this. So welcome back, okay? Thank you so much again for being in this class, okay? Hi, Saida. Welcome, Saida. Thank you for joining us, okay? And we are going to start, okay? Okay. Let's see. Yeah, I want to show you uh, the type of exercises that we have for the final test, okay? The final test. For example, the first one is a listening practice. You need to listen to the audio, okay? And then um, you need to click on the correct answer, okay? So that's very simple. You have four exercises and you need to click on the correct one, okay? Then you need to complete the conversation, okay? Uh, in this case, um, you have to complete in this case, you have to complete the 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 ver the, sorry the conversations using the verbs in past participle. Okay, 
for example, what the first participle will be, see, have, and have, okay? I think you know the answer, so that's very easy. And then you have three options in which you need to choose the correct option, okay? We're going to see this, uh, the use of force and since. I think we're going, to, we're going to see this tomorrow, okay? So probably this part, um, you can do it, you can try, but you're going to stand, <clears throat> sorry, you're going to understand better uh, how to use this uh, tomorrow, okay? And then in this part, uh, you have to complete the sentences, okay? You have different options, even from um, things that probably we were doing in section number one, or even in the past module, okay? You're going to find some things that are very easy over here. Now you have uh, some sentences that are not sentences. You need to arrange everything in the form of a sentence, okay? For example, it's gorgeous, Thetis and Christy here really in, you know, that's not a sentence, okay? So you need to fix the sentence. You need to arrange everything, okay? So first the subject, then the verb, then the complement, okay? Or in some cases, you may have questions, okay? So it depends on the, on the, on the sentences, okay? On the words, it depends on that. And finally, in the section or in the part number five, I have to read a short email, okay? And yeah, in this case, you need to click on the things that this person can do, okay? So if you see, you have like two or three parts in which you need to type, in which you need to write, okay? But the rest, basically, it's very easy, okay? So that's how you're going to do the, the last exam, okay? If you have a question or something, make sure that you send me a message and I can help you, okay? So let's see. Okay, so on the previous class, we were practicing uh, these questions, okay? So we're going to practice this one more time, okay? I was the first one, right? My color is color green. So let's see. Two. Okay. Uh, what sports did you do or did you play when you were younger? Um, when I was younger, when I was younger, uh, I used to play basketball, okay? I loved basketball. I didn't like soccer, okay? So when I was younger, I used to play uh, basketball and also, um, well, this is not a sport. Yeah, it is a sport. Um, also baseball, okay? I used to play that um, with my friends at school when I was younger, okay? Now, let's see, Anna, you are blue, right? Yes. Okay, let's see. What? <laughs> okay, Anna. Um, you are doing something funny to me. Okay. <laughs> okay, okay, let's see. Anna, when, I, when I was a younger, mm -hmm. <laughs> when I was a younger, I practiced uh, baseball, baseball uh -huh. and also basketball, ah, and, okay. but my favorite play, it was uh, basketball. Okay, perfect. Uh, right. Did you play baseball or softball? Baseball and basketball. Ah, okay, okay. Yeah, because we have uh, softball for, for girls too, right? Yes. Mm -hmm. <laughs> okay, perfect. Yes, yes. yes. Nice. Let's see, Saida, uh, do you have a color, Saida? Do you remember? Orange. Orange, okay, perfect. Let's see, Saida. Number four. Okay. 
Okay, Saida, what did you do for your last birthday celebration? What did you do? Tell us. I went to a restaurant with my family. Okay, what did you eat? Mm-hmm. Beef. Mm, okay. And rice. Soda. <laughs> ah, nice. <laughs> and cake. <laughs> and cake. Excellent. Was it chocolate or what flavor? No, I don't like chocolate. You don't like chocolate, really? No. Wow. No, no. <laughs> wow. <laughs> That's new. Well, I, I I have some friends that don't like chocolate, but I don't know. It's delicious. <laughs> <laughs> no. yeah. For me, no. <laughs> okay. <laughs> All right. Thank you. Let's see, Josue. You wear red, right? Uh, no, black. Ah, you're black. Sorry. I am. Black. I am red, teacher. Uh, no, I think Ivani, I was red because we started this uh -huh, game. Okay. Yeah. A new play. Okay. Uh -huh. Yeah, it's a new it's a new game. Okay, so Josue, let's see. Three. Okay. One, two, three. Uh what did you do your last summer? Do you remember? Yes, teacher. Uh, for the last summer that I was, uh -huh. I remember to uh, went to the the church right and then uh, I, I remember went to the visit to my grandmother mm -hmm. Are you there? Uh, to the and yeah and I, I Pass uh, with her and ah, okay and cook 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 something and you cooked something cooked yes mm -hmm. ah perfect perfect so you can cook uh, with my grandmother yes ah okay <laughs> okay nice nice all right uh, Pedro we have gr uh, gray and, and yellow which one do you want? Um, the fifty shade of gray. That's fifty shades of gray. Fifty shades of gray. Okay. Okay, Pedro. Maybe you can say one or two sentences. Don't worry. Okay. You don't need to uh, give a big explanation. Okay. So let's see. Who did you see yesterday? Who did you see yesterday? Mm -hmm. Okay. I I saw yesterday um, my co-worker in the morning, in the evening, in the evening uh, my boss and finished at night yesterday with my family. Okay. In, in my home. Okay, perfect, perfect. All right, thank you. Now my turn. Let's see if Anna is always following me, okay? <laughs> Let's see. Okay, I got four. Mm -hmm. One, oops, one, two, three, four. Uh, what did you watch on TV yesterday? Mm. I didn't watch TV yesterday. I watched uh, Netflix. And I watched um, The Walking Dead because I haven't finished, okay. okay? So that's what I watched yesterday on my computer, not on the TV, on my computer. Mm -hmm. All right, let's see, Anna. <laughs> okay. <laughs> ah, okay, finally. <laughs> <laughs> okay, um. let's see, Anna, when did you last... <laughs> Uh -huh. The last win. The last time that you swam. The, uh -huh, the last time that you swam. Mm -hmm. The swim. Mm. I I didn't swim 
but I try to practice uh -huh. uh, the last month. Okay. Okay, nice. So you need to say I didn't swim, okay, because we are using didn't, so you don't need to change the verb, okay? I didn't swim. Okay. Uh -huh. I didn't swim. Excellent. Let's see, Saida, you're next. Mm -hmm. Five. You are orange, right? Yes. One, two, three, four, five. Okay, Saida, what did you buy yesterday? Mm -hmm. I bought a new shoes. Ah, a new pair of shoes. Yes. Nice, nice. Uh, where did you buy them? ¿Cómo se llama? Centro Comercial Autopista Sur. Uh, I don't know that, okay. <laughs> but it was in the mall. Yes. Ah, okay, nice. What color are, are they? Black. Ah, black shoes. Is it high heel or normal? No, normal. Ah, okay, okay, okay. Do you like high heels? Tacones? Yes, all my shoes high heels. Ah, okay, okay, <laughs> nice, nice. Okay, perfect, thank you. All right, Josue. The last yes. Chance. It's black, right? Yes. yes. Wow, that never stops. Okay, <laughs> one. <laughs> oh, okay. It's like spinning and spinning and spinning and then you have one. <laughs> and then one. <laughs> okay, uh, who did you see yesterday? Who did you see? Okay. Um, uh, yesterday, I I saw to my co-workers uh -huh. in my job, and uh -huh. I, mem I remember not only my co-workers and my family. <laughs> okay, perfect, perfect. And finally, um, Mr. Pedro, okay. Wow, another six. Excellent. One, two, three, four, five, and six. Uh, Mr. Pedro, what sports did you play or did you do when you were younger? Okay. I, I practiced uh, uh, some some sport in the younger, for example, mm -hmm. uh, football, soccer, okay, mm -hmm. and, and basketball, mm -hmm. and the university volleyball, ah, volleyball, and, uh, uh -huh. yes, and sometimes to swimming, uh -huh. Uh -huh. and 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 with the uh, different party high balls. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> All right. Okay, nice. DJ. nice, nice. Thank you. Okay, guys. So uh yesterday we started to learn how to use the present perfect. Okay. And we were contrasting the different auxiliaries that we have. Okay. For example, in the present, we have two types of auxiliaries. We have am, um, is, and are. And for he, she, and it, we have it's, and for you, we, they, are, okay? What about the sentences in the simple present, like activities? Well, in that case, we have the auxiliary does, okay, for he, she, and it. And we have the auxiliary do for you, we, and they, okay? For example, she doesn't, uh, she doesn't, uh, check her cell phone, uh, we speak English or we don't speak Spanish, okay? So those are some sentences using those auxiliaries. Also, we were learning that in the case of the past, the auxiliary is did, okay? And of course, the negative is didn't, and did is for questions. 
And for the present perfect, we're going to use another auxiliary. In this case, we're going to use has for he, she, and it, and have for you, we, and they. Remember, this is not the principal verb, okay? This is only an auxiliary, okay? Something extra to the verb, okay? So uh, the first one that we practiced was um, past recent events, okay? Something that happened probably a few minutes ago, okay? A few hours ago. Something that happened today, okay? Because right now it's 821. So probably something is going to happen to you at 9 or 930, okay? So the day is not finished, okay? That's why we call it present, okay? We call it present. Also this week, okay? We are in Tuesday, and the week finishes on Saturday on, or Sunday, okay? So we are still in the present, okay? We are still in the present. This month, okay? We are on February 18th, okay? So some things are, can happen in this, uh, in this month, okay? And we made a practice with some phrases. For example, I have played soccer recently, okay? Maybe you did it a couple of weeks ago. Maybe you did it uh, last weekend, okay? So I have played soccer recently. I haven't listened to music today, okay? But right now it's 8.20, okay? Maybe at 9.30 you are going to listen to music, but right now, today, no, okay? I haven't listened to music. What about this year? Ah, I haven't gone to the movie theater this year. Yeah, but we are in February, okay? Maybe in June you are going to go, okay? Or in October you are going to go, okay? So this year, okay? This is the present, and this is how we use have, and the verb in the past part. Also, we learned um, some phrases using just, already, and yet. Just is for something that you did it just some minutes ago. For example, I have just eaten dinner, okay? So I was eating before the class, okay? I have just eaten dinner, okay? I have just finished my dinner. Okay, I have just driven to my house, okay? So maybe I was like driving very fast, okay? And then I arrived home, I arrived home, okay? I have just driven to my house. Or he has just arrived to the house, okay? Also, we can see already, okay? Already, I have already taken my medicine, okay? If I ask, for example, Pedro, Pedro, did you take your medicine? Yes, teacher, I have already taken my medicine, okay? So today is done, don't worry, okay? I have already taken my medicine. I have already studied English today, okay? If I tell you, okay, guys, practice at 9.30, okay? No, teacher, I have already studied English today, okay? So don't tell me, <laughs> okay? Uh, I have already taken a shower, okay? What if your mom says, hey, take a shower, and you say, nope, I have already taken a shower, okay, in the morning, so no more, okay, no more. Um, also, we practice the verb or the phrase yet, okay, yet. I haven't had dinner yet, but I will in a few minutes, okay, or after the class. I haven't worked yet, okay? I haven't worked, but maybe I am going to work at 10 p.m., okay? But right now, I haven't worked yet. I haven't drunk my coffee, okay? I haven't brushed my teeth yet, okay? But you are going to do it in a few minutes, okay? In a few minutes. And also, we have questions. Have you watched the new movie yet? Ah, yes, I have. No, I haven't, okay? Have you already watched the new movie? Yes, I have. No, I haven't, okay? So let's see. 
I'm going to add more sentences to present phrases. Remember, for present phrases, we have today, we have this week, okay? Today, this week, this month, this year. So can you tell me another activity that you have done or you haven't done during this uh, week or, or today, for example? I haven't watched TV today, okay? Maybe after the class I will watch, but right now, no, okay? I haven't watched TV today. Can you give me an example, people? It can be using today, this week, this month, uh-huh. It can be a few. I haven't, uh -huh. yes, I haven't, I haven't run to the park recently, teacher. I haven't run to the park? Recently. Ah, recently, okay. Re recently, sorry. Uh -huh. Recently, no problem, okay. I haven't run to the park recently, okay. Maybe you forgot, you don't, you don't want to do it, but maybe tomorrow, okay, maybe tomorrow yeah. you're going to do it, maybe, right? <laughs> But Maybe, yes. right now, no, I haven't run. To, I haven't run to the park recently. Mm -hmm. Another example. I haven't seen soap opera yet. Ah, I haven't uh, watched a uh, soap opera. Soap opera. Yet. yet. Okay. Or we can use today, right? Uh huh. Yeah. Uh huh. I haven't watched a soap opera yet okay but maybe after the class you're going to watch it right we don't know okay but right now no okay right now no okay another example it can be affirmative using today this month yes i have i have read the newspaper today teacher ah excellent i have read the news the newspaper you said right yes newspaper mm -hmm. today Okay, perfect. I have read the newspaper today. Perfect, okay? So the day is not finished. Maybe you're going to read it again, <laughs> okay? Or another, yes. or, another uh -huh, or another newspaper, okay? The last example, one more. Uh -huh. She has studied for three hours yesterday. Okay, she has studied for three hours, okay? Maybe we're going to leave it like that. Because yesterday, uh, that is the past, okay? And right now we're talking about things. Oh, that recently. You're... Okay, that's perfect, okay? She has studied for three hours recently. Uh -huh. Perfect. Uh -huh. Yeah, because if you say yesterday, that changes to the past. Uh -huh. Yes. Uh -huh. Okay, so she has studied for three hours uh, recently, okay? Or it can be this week, this month, okay? No, this month is, is, is a lot, okay? Maybe today, uh, this week, or recently, okay? Perfect. What about just? Can you tell me some activities that you finished some minutes ago? I have just uh, drunk uh, tea. Tea, okay, perfect, mm -hmm. okay? I have just drunk tea. Excellent. Another example? Something that you did a couple of minutes ago? I have, I have just my homework, finish my homework, sorry, finish okay, okay. my homework. I have just finished my homework. My perfect. homework. Okay, perfect, excellent. Okay, what about using a family member? Can you think of a sentence using a family member so that we can use has? Uh -huh. Has, because have is for I, you, we, and they. What about has? Mm -hmm. I can give you one. For example, my sister has just uh, have dinner okay she has just had dinner mm -hmm. 
What about you? Can you think of a sentence using a family member? My brother has just uh, watched TV. Okay, perfect. My brother has just watched TV. Okay, perfect. Okay, so these are some examples using just, okay? Some minutes ago, like very quickly, okay? It was very close. Now, uh, we are going to use already, okay? Already. Something that you have done already, okay? For example, I have checked Facebook already. Oh, sorry. I have already checked Facebook. Okay, I have already checked Facebook. Okay, I did I it in have, the in, uh huh. And, and for example, um, I have turned turned off uh, my computer. Ah, I have already turned off uh -huh. my computer. Uh huh. Yes. Okay. Perfect. Uh huh. Yeah, you did it already. Okay, so. If your, I don't know, if your wife says, uh, did you turn off the computer? And you say, yes, I have already turned it off, okay? Yes, mm -hmm. I have already done it. Uh -huh. Yeah, don't worry, okay, done, checked, okay? I did it, <laughs> okay, I did okay. it. Perfect, okay? And finally, yet, okay? Yet, something that you haven't done, but maybe you're going to do it in the future, okay? Remember, yet is only for negative, okay? Yet is only for negative. We can use already uh, and we can use um, just, okay? Uh, with affirmative, but yet is only for negative, okay? For example, I haven't had dinner yet. I haven't worked yet. I haven't drunk my coffee yet. I haven't brushed my teeth yet. Can you tell me two examples, please? Or a family member too? Mm -hmm. I, I haven't, mm -hmm. um, I haven't uh, eaten mm -hmm. in my dinner. Okay. Only uh, mix liquid. Ah, uh, only liquids. Liquids. Liquid. Liquid. Okay. Okay. Liquid. Oh wow! Be careful. <laughs> Be yeah. careful. I have. Uh huh. Okay. So that's something that you can say. I haven't eaten my dinner yet. Okay. Yeah. But maybe yeah. you're going to do it later. Or, yeah, you know, later in the night, you don't know, okay? But right now you haven't eaten your dinner, okay? Another example, people, the last one. Mm -hmm. Something that you haven't done, but you're going to do it in a few minutes or later after the class. Uh, my daughter hasn't <coughs> uh, listened uh, her music yet. Okay. Uh, so my daughter hasn't listened to her music yet. Okay. Perfect. Okay. <coughs> Thank you, Pedro. So if you see, uh, these are uh, some examples that we can have using the present perfect, okay? This is the first use. Now we're going to see the second, uh, the second uh, list of examples, okay? That actually it is very simple. Now we're going to talk about past experiences, okay? Past experiences, for example, Number one, uh, Saida, can you read sentence number one, please? 
Number one. Yes. Uh -huh. We have been to Rome and Florence. Okay, perfect. We have been to Rome and Florence, okay? Maybe you did this in the past, okay? Past experience, okay? You have visited this place. For example, I have been to a taco, okay? I have been to a taco, okay? The only thing is that I don't say when this happened, okay? I don't say yesterday, I don't say last year, I don't say last month, no, okay? I only say I have visited, okay? I have visited, but I don't say any specific when I did it, okay? I'm not, I'm not in a specific when I did something. Uh, for example, another one. Uh, let's see, Anna, can you read this number two? I haven't read that book. Perfect, I haven't read that book, okay? I didn't say in high school, I didn't say in the university, no, okay? You don't need to say the time. So you only say, I haven't read that book, okay? Maybe in the future, but right now, no. I haven't read that book, okay? So we're going to see some, uh, some phrases that we can use for this. Um, the first one is never, ever, and before, okay? I think the most common one is before, because when you say before, it is not exact time, okay? It is not yesterday, it is not last month, okay? It is only before, okay? A time in the past. For example, I have, uh, I have been to Costa Rica before, okay? Some years ago, I did it, okay? But I didn't say when, okay? I didn't say when, I'll just say before. Can you tell me some activities that you have done before? You don't need to tell me the time, only before, okay? Or one of your family members, probably. Mm -hmm. My brother has been to Honduras before. Okay, my brother has been to Honduras before. Perfect. Another example. Remember there are other activities, okay? Other experiences that a person can have. Being. I have, I have eaten the the seafood before okay i have eaten seafood before excellent i have eaten uh seafood before uh sorry pedro what did you say uh, my son has uh, been at the university before ah okay at the university before excellent Another example of something that you did before? You don't need to I say have, that. Mm -hmm. I have been the read a book before. Ah, okay. I have read. I uh, read. Uh -huh. A book before. Okay. Before. Perfect. Okay. Perfect. Now, if you see, we are using before. Uh, okay. We are using before. Okay. Now. What is the opposite of this? What is the opposite? Well, in this case, the opposite is never, okay? Uh -huh. We're going to use never. For example, we're going to see I have been to Costa Rica before, okay? In order to make this a uh, negative, there are two ways, okay? You can say I haven't been to Costa Rica before, okay. Or you can say, I have never been to Costa Rica. Mm -hmm. Okay. So you have two options. You can say, I have never, or sorry, I haven't been to Costa Rica before, or I have never, I have never been to Costa Rica. Okay. Simple. Simple as that. Let's see, my brother, uh -huh. Josue, what do you think? How can I make the sentence of my brother in negative? The two ways, tell me. Okay, my brother 
have ha, haven't haven't been no my brother has my brother has hasn't been to the uh -huh. Honduras before. Uh -huh. My brother hasn't been to been. Honduras before. Uh -huh. Yes, two? and yes, my brother uh, has never been to Honduras before. Perfect. Okay, my brother has never been to Honduras before. Okay, excellent. Let's see, Anna. I have eaten seafood before. I haven't eaten seafood before. Uh -huh. Oh, I haven't, or oh, oh, I had never eaten seafood before. Excellent. Okay, excellent. Let's see, uh, Saida. The next one. My son hasn't been, been perdón, at the university before. Mm -hmm. And my son has never been at the university before. Ah, okay. Remember, in the second choice, uh, we don't use before, okay? Ah, yeah. Uh-huh, uh-huh. So, uh, my son has never been at the university. Uh-huh. Mm -hmm. Okay, perfect. Thank you. And finally, Mr. Pedro, the last one. I have read a book before. I haven't read a book before or I have uh, never read a book before. Perfect. Uh -huh. Now, the number two, remember, when we use never, you don't use before, okay? So I haven't mm. read a book before or I have I never read a book. Uh -huh. I have never read a book. Uh -huh. Perfect. Okay. So that is how we use uh, before and never. Okay. But we're missing only one word that is ever. Okay. Like the name of a person ever. Okay. Ever. We're going to use ever for questions. Okay. It's the opposite never. Uh, no. Questions. Uh, when we have questions, you can say, yes, I have done it, or no, I have never done it, okay? Let me show mm. you an example. Uh, okay. Have you ever visited, uh, or, yeah, have you ever visited a hospital? Okay. So, in this case, you can say, yes, I have, okay? I have visited a hospital before, okay? Or, no, I haven't. I have never visited a hospital. Okay? So, in this case, we can have these two options. Okay? These two options. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. Oh, sorry. This one, that is, I have been. Or, no, I have never. Okay? So, we're going to use ever for questions. Only for questions. Okay? Only for questions. So, you want to know, okay? If the person maybe in the past uh, did this action, or uh, the person failed, or the person um, was in this situation, okay? Another example. Have you ever um, have you ever played, let's see, bowling? Do you know bowling? Like galaxy bowling? Okay. Boliche? Okay. So have you ever played bowling? What what can be your answer? Let's see. Anna, have you ever played bowling? No, I haven't. Uh-huh. And then the complete sentence? No, I haven't played bowling. Bowling. Ah, I haven't played bowling before. Or you can say, I have never played bowling. Okay. So let me write the, 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 the different answers. You can say, uh, well, you can say, yes, I have. Or you can say, no. No, I haven't. I haven't. Okay, perfect. And then if it's affirmative, you can say, I have played uh, bowling before okay if it's negative i have never mm -hmm. excellent okay i have never 
play bowling. 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 Okay. Perfect. Let me ask another question to someone else. Have you ever um have you ever have you ever driven a truck? Okay, not a car, a truck. Okay. Let's see, Josue. Have you ever driven a truck? And um, no, I haven't, teacher. Uh huh. Okay. No, I haven't. I have never driven a truck. Okay. I have never driven a truck. Mm -hmm. Let's see. Have you ever? Uh, have you ever spoken to an American? Let's see, Pedro. Have you ever spoken to an American? Yes, I have, teacher. Okay, yes, I have, okay. I have spoken to an American, okay. That can be the complete sentence, uh -huh. okay. So, okay. that's how we use ever, okay. Ever is for questions. And then we have never and before, that are for sentences, okay. Um, so these are the two phrases, never, ever, and before. Have you ever read it? I have never read it, okay? Also, we can use a superlative, okay? A superlative. This is the best food I have ever tried, okay? I have ever tried. You know, like the best food, uh, the youngest person, the oldest person, okay? But that's not very common. I will say that this is more common, okay? Ever, never, okay? And before. Also, we have a number of times, okay? From the past until the present, okay? For example, I have seen this film three times, okay? So in the past, I saw it the first time, then the second time, and now it is a third time. But this is the present. I don't know about the future. Maybe I'm going to see it another time and another time. Okay. So it's a number of times until now. Okay. So we're going to practice that one right now. A number of times. Okay. A number of times. For example, I have uh, been to Guatemala many times, okay, in my case. Uh -huh. What about you? What is one activity that you have done uh, that you have done one time, two times, three times, or many times? Uh -huh. Mm -hmm. I have been to Belize, to Belize, to twice. Twice. To twi oh, right. twice. Twice. Uh -huh. Twice. Excellent. Yes. Really? Yes. It's a beautiful country. Mm -hmm. Do they speak English in in the country? Um. So so. So, so. I remember. See, I remember when. When I went to the place, uh -huh. uh, I uh, I talked to the American people, uh -huh. and I tried to interchange that the some questions about that different culture. Uh -huh. uh, I told to culture of Salvadorian culture. Uh -huh. And the American people told me uh, that culture of uh, his city. Mm -hmm. And it's a beautiful experience for me in that moment. And okay, nice. The nice. place is amazing for me. <laughs> okay, excellent. So you have been there tw twice or two times? But maybe in the future you're going to go again, right? Maybe in the future again. <laughs> yeah, nice, nice. Okay. What about you, Josue? Tell us uh, some activities that you have done a number of times. 
Yes. I have uh, driven a truck times. A truck? A truck. Uh -huh. two, two times. Two times. Oh, wow. Is it difficult? Yeah. It's so difficult, yes. Uh, was a, a, a little built with, mm. uh, with the mirrors. Uh -huh. And the most difficult is when you are, uh, f uh, f um, I don't remember. Parking? No. When you go back, right? Uh huh. When you go, you back. go back, right? In reverse? Uh huh. Yes. Oh. In reverse, yes. That's the oh, correct wow. word. When you reverse, because you have the more more uh, feet, right? Or more. Uh -huh. uh, uh, yes, more space, right? Yeah, you need more space <laughs> because you don't see very yes. well, right? And it's very long. I yeah, uh -huh. it is very long. Okay. Yes. Okay, perfect. Thank you. And finally, Pedro, tell me something that you have done a number of times. I have gone gone with uh -huh. my co-worker at my work always. Ah, I have gone to my work with my co-workers. Ah, in that case, always would be here, okay? Uh -huh. yeah. I have always gone. Uh -huh. I have always gone mm -hmm. to my work with my co-workers, okay? Or if you want to say all the time, I have gone to the work, sorry, to my work with my co-workers all the time, okay? Or many times, uh -huh. okay? Yeah. Perfect, uh -huh. perfect. So uh, this is the second, uh, the second uh, use that we have for the present perfect, okay? So remember number one is when we have yet, when we have um, already, when we have just, okay? Or recently or activities in this uh, present period of time. And right, right now uh, we were talking about past experiences, but we don't say exactly, we don't say exactly when they happened, okay? We're just saying, in the past, okay, but we don't say exactly. We don't say yesterday, we don't say last year, okay, because that's 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 very specific. In this case, it, it is not it's specific, okay. So any questions? No teacher, I don't have any question about that subject. Okay, perfect. Uh -huh. Okay. No teacher. We have to practice more, but yeah, okay. uh huh, yeah, we have to practice more. I know. Tomorrow we're going to have more questions. Okay, we've using have you ever, so that you can use never, before, and all those things. Okay, and also I have another okay. game. I have another game using have you ever, and I think you're going to like it. Okay, uh, it's another game similar to this. Okay, but the questions are with have you ever. Okay. So I think we, we can play that for a, for a couple of minutes tomorrow instead of playing this, okay? Because now that you see Have You Ever, you can answer some questions of the other game, okay? So that's what we're going to do tomorrow. Don't worry, okay? All right, so thank you so much, everybody. Thank you so much for making the time to be in the class, okay? Remember, uh, try to practice as much as you can on the platform. And uh, any questions, please uh, send me a message, okay? I can help you, I can help you on WhatsApp, all right? So all right. Have, all right. have a good night and see you tomorrow, okay? See you tomorrow, uh, teacher. Uh, nice bye. Have a good night, bye-bye. Have a good night. Bye. bye.